Hello, I'm Suzanne Elson, Conservation Advisor on, at Avon Wildlife Trust, working on the West of England Bee Lines project. We received a BIFRA award grant of £25,000 to support our landscape-wide conservation project, creating ecological links between the Mendip Hills and the Cotswold Hills. We applied to BIFRA award for funding to restore and create wildflower-rich habitat to create a network of bee lines. Bee lines are wide strips of permanent wildflower-rich habitat that link existing wildlife areas together to create a connected network across our landscape. Bee lines are identified within each region by mapping where our best areas for wildlife already exist and linking them together. Creating a network this way provides a focus for where our conservation efforts should be undertaken. The Bee Lines Initiative is an innovative approach developed by Bug Life to help and restore populations of insect pollinators and other wildlife. Imagine trying to travel around Britain without our road and rail network, or imagine if nine out of every ten miles of road just didn't exist. Life would be impossible. Well, for much of our wildlife, this is the reality. It is confined to tiny fragments of habitat and unable to move across the countryside. By restoring, creating and connecting habitats, we benefit many species, especially insect pollinators, such as the dingy skipper butterfly, but also wildlife including greater horseshoe bat, brown hare and skylark. The West of England Bee Lines project contributes to a national pollinator network weaving across the British countryside and through our towns and cities. With BIFRA Award funding, we have worked closely with private landowners and also on common land and community spaces. And we have engaged volunteers to carry out restoration work on over 100 hectares of land. Hello, I'm Jane Jay from Shiplate House Farm in Loxton and I'm standing on our hillland Shiplate Slate, which is limestone grassland and there's some very important flora and fauna such as the purple orchid, the Somerset hair grass, wild thyme, and the national, nationally scarce dwarf sedge. And we have areas that needed to be cleared of scrub and that's where even wildlife and the wonderful um, teams of volunteers have come in to help um, to secure these plants for future generations. Hi, I'm uh, Rosie and uh, I'm a conservation assistant for the Wildlife Trust and I run the grass and restoration team. Um, so we have been working alongside environmental contractors who have been cutting large rides into the, um, the encroaching scrub which is creeping up the hillside as you can see. Um, so we've worked alongside their team uh, coming in with loppers and bow saws and uh, bramble sides to keep all the vegetation low so that uh, the grassland and the wildflowers can recolonise effectively, um, which creates suitable habitat for all the pollinating insects that that supports. We have a committed group of volunteers on our grassland restoration team, who between them have contributed a total of over 200 volunteer days, carrying out tasks such as scrub clearance, weed pulling, scything weeds and hay, and removing cuttings and we've also engaged contractors to do more major scrub removal works where necessary. This is Claire Mockridge and she has been volunteering on the project since the beginning um, with the grassland restoration team um, and um, Claire I was hoping you could tell us a bit about why you got involved with the project. Absolutely, um, I find it very interesting working on this project and also very enjoyable. Um, I have got background in professional grass and ecology and uh, I love working on this because it does exactly what it says it's going to. It restores grasslands in a very practical and straightforward way and makes relationships with farmers and it's very exciting and interesting watching this process happen. Um, I love coming out, I like working with the Wildlife Trust as well, they're a great organisation to work with, their volunteering is always meaningful and well organised um, and I thoroughly enjoy it from my own sort of health and wellbeing point of view, I get out, keep fit and out in the countryside and I'm having a great time, it's very nice people so uh, I'd love to have the opportunity to do it. Thank you Claire. This is a site near Blagdon Lake, uh, it's a very species rich site with lots of wildflowers 
but the grassland has become overrun with scrub. And here you can see our grassland restoration team volunteers removing scrub and burning the cuttings. You can also hear contractors in the background who we've got in to do some of the more major clearance work. The site will then be grazed by sheep during the autumn and winter to keep it in good condition for the future. In addition to our restoration projects, we have carried out some wildflower meadow creation and 2.3 hectares have been sown with wildflower seeds this year. The project has also provided management advice to landowners in the area and on sites where we have provided meadow restoration or creation, we work, we work closely with the landowner to ensure that they are informed and able to manage their meadows in the future to maintain and improve their condition. We have found the Bifra Award team to be very helpful and we would like to thank Bifra Award and the Landfill Communities Fund for their generous grant and for supporting our West of England Beelines project.